Good morning everyone and welcome back to GSC at home. My name is Saba and today I'm going to show you a really cool experiment where we take DNA out of strawberries. For the experiment I'm going to use strawberries however you can try it with bananas and kiwis as well. So what do you know about DNA? Well DNA is inside all living organisms. So plants, animals, insects, me, you, we all have DNA inside us. DNA is short for deoxyribonucleic acid and it's what makes you, you. DNA is a very long molecule that contains all of our genetic information. Our genes are made up of DNA and they contain the instructions that determine our characteristics like our hair colour, our eye colour and our height as well. We actually share a lot of our DNA with other living things. 96% of our DNA we share with chimpanzees. Also, we share 99.9% .9 of our DNA with every other person on the planet. That's only a tiny 0.1% of DNA that makes you different and unique. Where can we find DNA in our bodies? Well, in our bodies we have trillions of cells and inside each of those cells you can find DNA. If we were to actually take out DNA from one tiny little cell, it would be 2 meters long. That's the same length as these joined up pieces of belt. If you have a look, this really long joined up piece of belt over here, that's the same length as the DNA we have coiled up inside one tiny little cell in our body. If we were to take out all the DNA from every single cell in our body, stretch them out, join it one end to the next end, you would be able to reach to the moon and back, not once, not twice, but 3,000 times. DNA contains all the information and instructions telling an organism how to develop and how to function. If we take the strawberry as an example, one thing its DNA tells it to do is produce a red pigment giving it the red colour that we can see. For the experiment, we're going to be extracting DNA from strawberries. For this, you're going to need some salt, some washing up liquid, plastic cups, skewers, a plastic bag, a tablespoon, some strawberries, about 50 ml of water, filter paper or a sieve. You also need adult supervision. That's because we're going to be using alcohol. You can either use methylated spirits, which is used in DIY, or you can use any clear chilled alcohol. You just have to leave it in the fridge for about an hour or so before. So we're going to start by popping some strawberries into this plastic bag and mashing them up. We're really going to mash these strawberries up because we don't want any strawberry chunks. We want a really smooth consistency. So mash them up real smooth, get that really nice smooth strawberry juice out. Keep mashing. Come on, a little bit more. Let's just mash these strawberries up really well. Okay. Now, I'm going to pop these strawberries to the side over here and let's get a plastic cup and in this cup we're just going to put in things that we can pick up from around our kitchen. We're going to start by pouring about 50 ml of water into the cup, filling it about halfway. Now, let's put some salt in, a tablespoon of salt right into the cup. Measure your tablespoon out and pop it right into the cup over here, giving it a little mix. Now, I'm going to put in half a tablespoon of washing up liquid. And again, give it a really nice mix. Not too much because you don't want bubbles to start peeing. So mixing up this liquid, the salt is going to help make the DNA visible by making it uncoil. And the washing up liquid is going to burst open the cells so the DNA can get out in the first place. So, Giving it a good mix, what I'm going to do now is get our strawberry mixture again, the ones that we mashed up earlier on, and this time we're going to scoop them all out right into the cup. So using our spoon, let's get as much strawberries out of this as we can, putting them all into the cup over here. All the strawberry mixture that we mashed up before, getting it right into the cup. Okay. So, let's give it a really nice mix again, mixing all this together. And now, I'm going to pour this cup over some filter paper into another cup. So, something like this. What I'm going to do is pour my mixture right in and this way, all the strawberry chunks can get drained out and we'll only end up with a nice, fruity mixture. So here we have it, our filtered fruity mixture. 
This is the part where we need an adult supervision. We need an adult to help pour some alcohol into this cup. So we're going to take our alcohol and our adult is going to pour some alcohol right over the top of the cup. We need enough to cover about an inch or so of the mixture. So we're going to put the lid back on and pop this back. The alcohol is going to help make the DNA visible to us. It's this is because the DNA is insoluble in alcohol. It's going to rise to the top of the solution and you can actually maybe start seeing some of the strings forming on top. That's the DNA. So we're gonna take a skewer and see if we can scoop out some DNA. Let's give it a little minute or so just to, to let all the DNA rise and precipitate to the top of the solution. So I can see a lot of DNA actually forming right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice mix and see if I can pull out some DNA. Wow, there you have it. This long stringy thing over here hanging at the end of my bamboo skewer is DNA. Wow, that's amazing. I'm gonna pop this to the side now. So why do you use strawberries in this experiment? Well, strawberries are really good for extracting and seeing DNA with. Not only are they easy to mash up, but they have a lot of DNA. Strawberries contain eight copies of DNA, whereas humans only have two copies. So where do you get this DNA from? DNA is passed down to you from your parents. 50% from one parent and 50% from the other parent. If you have a look in your household, have a look at everyone's eye colour. Their lovely eye colour was passed down to them in their DNA from their parents. This is called an inherited characteristic. Your eye colour was also passed down to you in your DNA from your parents. Strawberries, however, have a different inheritance pattern. They have one for plants, where they get more copies of DNA. If you try this experiment at home, Please take pictures and tag us in our social media. Also, if you have any questions, pop them down below and we'll have we'll do our best to answer them. Thank you for watching.